Hi everyone, it's Debbie with Mystery Quilts Anonymous and I wanted to give you a little extra tip for your quarantine houses today. We were in the beginning just going to lose our bonus triangle, but then when I was writing Clue 3, I figured out we could use this triangle for one of the parts in Clue 3. So I told you to just go back and sew it again. But I have this handy dandy ruler. I don't know if you can see it so well from over there, but it is a, um, it's put out by Omnigrid. I bought mine from Fonz and Porter. It's, I think it might be called an add a quarter. I'm not exactly sure what it is called. Your seam line is the yellow line in the middle and then the outsides of the ruler are a quarter of an inch away from that seam line. Typically you would lay that seam line right here. If you're doing a half square triangle, you would lay that seam line diagonal on your square. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna lay it just off the diagonal and I'll show you how to do that. Because we want, here's my square, and I wanted to show you what it looked like before I flipped it over because it's kind of hard to see against my green mat. But we want to lay it from corner to corner, yes, but typically you would lay that little seam line from corner to corner. However, we want our seam line on that, and we want to go a quarter of an inch away from that as well. So we will... Draw one line diagonally, hold that ruler, and go up the other side as well. So these are a half an inch apart. So when we sew them, you can see I've sewn it here. We're going to get our house just perfect, and then our bonus triangle into a half square triangle is already sewn. Let me cut that apart quickly for you so I can show you. So I lay my quarter of an inch line on the seam line that we did. And now both pieces have a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I also did it on the second side so I can show you that it works on both sides. Again, quarter of an inch on that seam line. And it's done. Now, a handy trick on how to cut these down. Don't pay any attention to me while I find my 45 degree angle. Is you can, that 45 degree line, you can keep on your seam line and cut it clear back to your two inches. While you've got that ruler out, you can put it clear back to your two inches. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. But it just makes it already cut for you. Here are the ones I cut the other way. They're already ironed. This one we did as we cut it. Same size. So that will might also take down a step for you. We will be using these two inch half square triangles in clue three. So I don't know, this is called, there are a lot of different things for this. I saw somebody had something, it was called uh, something trio. I can't remember what it was. It was actually three rulers. Um, Fonz and Porter does two. It does a long one like this, and then it does one about half size as well. Handy little tool. Now you know how to use it. Thanks. Have a great day.